Hello chess lovers, Zorman here and in today's video I want to share with you an interesting game played by the 9th world chess champion Tigran Petrosian. Petrosian is on the black side and he's playing against Danish chess grandmaster Bent Larsen. This game is from 1966 Havana Chess Olympiad. Larsen opened up with e4 to which Petrosian answered with e6. Petrosian goes for French defense and after knight c3, knight f6 we have e takes d5. Larsen is going for this boring and drawish exchange variation. As you know, Larsen was a very creative chess player, uh, someone who had a dynamic and aggressive playing style, and for me it's very strange that he can go for this exchange variation. Although several times I have seen this opening in his repertoire. Uh, e takes d5 by Petrosian, d4 c6, bishop d3, bishop d6, once again Exchange French has a reputation of a very uh, drawish opening and aggressive players are sidestepping it. Those who want to win with the white pieces of course won't go for this line. Knight d7, knight f5, we have a symmetrical setup and coming up with something creative or creating some problems for black is very difficult. Black stands very solid. Bishop d2 f6 trying to get rid of this active knight and queen h5 hitting on e8. And it was in here that Petrosian came up with an interesting idea. Yeah, despite the fact that it's difficult to come up with something interesting, with something creative in these type of positions, but Petrosian was a creative genius and he decided to add fuel to the fire. Rook takes e5 landed. Petrosian's Trademark was exchange sacrifice and he goes for it. With the black pieces Petrosian is interested more in winning than uh, Larsen, right? D takes e5, f takes e5. Against the rook black is getting uh, peace and a pawn. But uh, this strong center of course gives black a compensation. Now f3 is good not to allow e4 but Larsen played rook e1. e4 bishop f1. Knight f6, a position like this is of course easier to play with the black pieces. While from white side here, yeah, white also has somewhat cramped position. It's difficult to find a good idea to make the position better. An exchange on e3 followed. White no longer has a bishop paired. Rook f8, queen e5, bishop g6, rook d1, queen f7. Rook d2, knight f4, b4, h6. Petrosian is freeing a luft for his bishop. Also is taking under control the g5 square. And meanwhile white wants to create some counterplay on the queen side. b6, rook e1, look. It's obvious that white doesn't have a definite idea what to play, how to proceed. Meanwhile, black is making his position better. Takes, takes. G3. In time trouble, white is making a dubious looking G3 move. And according to Boleslavski, it was better to play rook b1, occupy this open file. Instead, we have G3. There came knight d3. White, of course, hurried to get rid of that knight. And queen e6 check. Look. At this point, it was high time to give back the exchange and go for a draw. But we have queen e6 check. I don't know, guys. Maybe Larsen was intending to win this position. I'm not sure. Queen f7 and queen takes f7 check. So here it was a white's last chance to survive. And the best move is rook e5. And now if you go for an exchange on e6, then you have a strong rook on the 6th rank and from behind attacking these pawns is more effective. But we have queen takes f7 check. King takes f7 by Petrosian. Rook b2, c4, f3, d4. White's position is lost. How could uh, Larsen go for that queen takes f7? Once again, he should have uh, given back the exchange on d3, and now his position is totally lost. If you accept the pawn sacrifice, then c3 is coming, so rook c1 was made, and king e6. 
Black king is centralized. Bishop e4. f4. Rook e8. Rook e8 was the sealed move. So the game was postponed. And the uh, next day, this is how the game ended. Larsen played g4. Definitely, his analysis showed that he's lost. King d5. Takes, takes. C takes d4, c3. Rook b8, d2. Check here. One more check. Why is he not resigning? Yeah, and finally, after king d3, we have a resignation. Just no way to stop this pawn. Enough is enough. Larsen resigned. Once again, this was a terrible game by Larsen. And on the other hand, of course, I liked how Petrosian played the exchange French. All started from that uh, wonderful exchange sacrifice. And then gradually, Petrosian in his wonderful style started to squeeze maximum of the position he uh, realized his minute advantage in the end the chess puzzle for you the task is to win with the white pieces as usual we'll wait for your answer in the comment section thanks for watching we'll see you in my next video take care